Hi, welcome to the Low Tech Institute's informal video number two about splitting a hive. So, I've got uh, one hive with a queen and uh, one hive with queen cells in the backyard, and basically my goal for the day is making them into five different hives, each uh, with its own colony or at least potential colony of bees. So I'm smoking them to uh, keep them calm and uh, suppress the uh, smell of the alarm pheromone, and also people say they eat a whole bunch of honey so they can't sting you. Anyway, so I'm taking the top board off and the, the top box, and these are called deeps, these boxes, because they're so deep, um, is full of honey. And so I'm going to take a couple of frames of honey and put them into these smaller hives called nukes on the side. And I'm going to give each nuke, uh, you can see one here and there's two more on the ground behind me out of frame. I'm going to give each one of these frames, sorry, I'm going to give each one of these nukes two different frames of honey so that the nascent uh, colonies in there are going to have plenty to eat. So I'm going to jump ahead here uh, once I get this in there. And you can see it takes some of the bees with it. And this uh, nuke has a small entrance and it's a small hive. It only takes five frames, whereas each of these big hives right now have 20 frames. But that's okay because they're going to be getting a new queen and they're going to need to build up. So now I'm taking out another frame of honey. I'm going to pop that right in there. And I'll do the same thing for the two nukes that are behind me out of frame. So each one has two frames of honey. Then once this top box is mostly empty, I take it off and put it on the lid that I've set over here on the hive stand. Now you can see that cluster of bees in the middle of the box. They're actually protecting all the brood. They're keeping it warm. And so what I want to do is go in here and pull out the frames of brood because they've made queen cells. See that there's a little bit of a mark I'm pointing out? That's a queen cell. That's going to become a queen bee uh, in another two weeks. Basically, uh, when this hive was made queenless, they made one of the uh, worker bees into a queen bee by feeding her royal jelly. Really, there's no difference between a queen bee and a regular bee except for how they're raised. It's just that they're getting um, extra royal jelly. And here I'm pinching off a small uh, queen cell because I only want the biggest, best looking queen cells in each nuke. I don't want any wimpy small queens. So I put that in there and that's got the queen cell and a whole bunch of brood on it, basically bees that are going to hatch in the next 21 days. And then I'm going to take out this frame which has brood on it and I'm going to perform a little surgery. I'm going to cut out a 2 inch by 2 inch piece of the comb because the next frame I pull out after this, and here I go, I'm going to shake all the bees off here so that I can do the surgery. They're not big fans of that, but it's a good way to get the uh, comb clear. Anyway, the next frame I pull out is going to have four queen cells on it. And if I were to put that into a nuke, I might get a swarm where one of the queen flies away with half of the hive. Um, and so I just want to leave one or two queen cells so that the first queen emerges, goes and kills the other queen, and then becomes a single queen in the hive. So as you can see when I pull this one out, there's four queen cells in there, kind of like pimples. What I'm going to do is very carefully cut around a two inch by two inch square around the queen cell. I'm not going to touch it at all, but I'm going to get all the queen around them. And then I'm going to transplant that into the two by two cut that I made in the other frame. And here it comes. I'm about to pull it out. And this is very delicate work, and this is unusual. This isn't like a normal, everyday type of beekeeping thing. And this is the first time I've ever done this sort of uh, cut out and then uh, reattaching to another hive. But this way, I'm going to get three nukes, each with queen cells in it, rather than only two, which would be only possible if I didn't take them off this frame. So there they go. I have the queen cells there. You can see? And then I put them gently into this other frame of brood and use the soft wax to mesh it in. There we go. Gently putting it in. It's kind of surgical. I used a linoleum knife that I sharpened up really sharp and it cut right through the comb real easy. I avoided, there's uh, metal bands in the comb to help keep it straight. I avoided those. And then I put the extra comb that I had cut out of the first one back where those queen cells had been just to plug up that hole. And now each one of these frames is going to go into a different nuke so that each one of the nukes has queen cells and can very soon raise its own queen 
and become a happy, uh, fully functioning colony. This is one way that you can make more colonies out of a single colony. I started the year with one colony, and now by the end of the day, I'm going to have five colonies, and as long as all the queens hatch, I'll be set. So now what I need to do is get a little more brood. And this double colony here, or this double uh, deep hive, this one has the queen in it. So I'm going to have to pull out um, some of the honey out of the top, and then I'm going to pull the box right off top box right off, which is mostly honey anyway. I'm going to pull that off and put it to the side because I want to find more brood. Because you'll notice the, the nuke only has three frames at this point. I need to put two more frames of brood and because this one has a queen, it has a whole bunch more brood. But first I have to find the queen. And I got really lucky. On the first frame, this one here that I pulled out, I found the queen. Now I don't find the queen every time I go in the hive. It's really as long as I see really young larvae, I can pretty much assume that the queen is there. In this case, though, I have to find the queen because I'm going to pull her out of this hive. And I'm going to put her in the box next to, next to this one um, so that the now queenless hive has to raise new queens. There, I'm pointing to the queen. And since I found her, I'm going to pop her right in this box. And now they have a queen. The other box doesn't. That's going to force them to raise an emergency queen. And in a couple of days, I'll go back in and I'll find those big, pendulous, pimply looking um, queen cells, I hope, in the, hot, in the now queenless hive. They're going to raise their own queen. And that's a way that I can split and make more hives. Basically, I'm removing the queen, forcing them to make a new queen. And so here I'm checking the brood, and that's going to go into this nuke. Eventually, I'll have three frames of brood and two frames of honey. If I were putting a queen in there, I'd put two frames of brood and two frames of honey and one empty. But because they don't have a queen, they need extra bees. So my camera died at this point. Basically, the rest of what I did was fill up that queenless, now queenless nuke, fill up that now queenless hive, and added supers on it because all those field bees aren't going to have anything to do because they're going to have less and less brood so they might as well put up honey for me while they're raising a queen. The rest of the colonies now will be in building mode and they're going to be building up and soon I'm going to put them into their new hives that I'm going to be building soon. So stay tuned for a video on that. So I started this season with one really full three deep frame, uh, three deep uh, of full of bees and now I have potentially five colonies that I've split out of it because it was so strong. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, we'll have a couple more informal and formal videos coming up soon. Uh, and I'll be updating on the blog and the website about how my beekeeping goes throughout the year. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, please head to our website, lowtechinstitute.org, for more videos and information. Thanks for stopping by.